Kentucky. This is Next Weather. And we roll on with this summer that we are not going to forget. As far as the heat, we've had basically every day so far this month above average, and we've had five record highs. So we're just going to keep going here. Now, the difference for us, like today, the next few days, we're going to get these cooling showers and storms in the middle of the day. Nothing to sneeze at, because I think that's going to make uh, a big difference for us here. 85 is the current temperature. We hit 95 today. And once we hit 95, a shower, a thunderstorm came through the airport, and we dropped to 80 degrees which was the low temperature for the day. So that's what the storms can do. And I think we're on tap for that again for uh, tomorrow. There are the rest of the numbers uh, getting in on the record uh, here is a marathon. You hit 99 degrees, almost 100, not even factoring in the humidity, which we have to because that's how it feels outside. Current temperatures low to mid 80s right now, and the heat advisory will continue in effect day in and day out. As I've been saying, this goes through Sunday now, likely heading into uh, next week. And my fear for folks outside is that you know, this just becomes a uh, crying wolf. But the problem is, is that we are meeting the heat criteria. So there will be two, three hours where we'll feel like it's 105 to 110, and that can get you into serious trouble. So don't, uh, you know, pay attention to it because it's a big deal, uh, even for us here in South Florida that we're used to it. This is what we did today, scattered storms all over the place here. But you don't even need the rain on top of your house, right? We get these cooling fronts from the storms that can make a huge difference, anywhere from one to two inches, little pockets here, little bursts of of uh, th uh, storms that uh, hit us earlier today, and we're not quite done. Once they get going, they develop these boundaries that provide us even with additional showers. And this one, I'll loop this for you. Watch what happens here for the last hour. Nothing there, and then all of a sudden, this thing pops in, but it's introduced from the Atlantic. So I think that southeast wind for tomorrow morning will likely continue to give us the potential for a few showers early in the morning, something we typically uh, well, we haven't seen in the last a few days. So keep that in mind, and then we'll get into our afternoon thunderstorms. That's the way it's uh, going to work out for tomorrow, and the same deal heading into uh, Saturday and into Sunday. Hot, no question there for Friday through the weekend, and then we'll have the thunderstorms that will continue each afternoon. Now, rain track this for you beginning tomorrow. This is our the model that goes a little further out in time, right? And it'll take you through Saturday. There you see pockets of showers and storms, and those will continue as we head into the evening. And then we'll do it again on Saturday morning for the keys. A good batch of showers rolling through, and then we'll get into the afternoon thunderstorms that will cool us off, and uh, we need to do that. All right, in the tropics, we do have this developing system here. We don't have to worry about it. It is a going to be a subtropical depression or storm. It will get a name, perhaps Don is forming here and we'll keep you posted on that. But as I mentioned, no threat to land and the rest of the tropics are looking pretty good. All right, the forecast for tomorrow temps in the 90s once again through the afternoon and your seven day forecast will keep you with that with the heat, but the cooling afternoon storms, 50% coverage each and every day. We'll be right back.